there was a definite role that they wanted me to be in. And that role was the flirtatious, uh, lack of a better term, uh, boy next door. <laughs> How does that make Did you feel? That, is that what they called you? The flirtatious boy next door? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, off camera. <laughs> Sometimes. Why boy next door? Oh, um, I don't know. I just, they really figured out who I am and they realized that I am a flirt and they wanted to accent that heavy. Um, and I, I'm i curious how they put that together and I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on that. I think I know how you feel, but what do you feel about me being portrayed as a flirt? How do you think I feel? <laughs> I saw Lion King, it came out when I was born. Kuna Makata. <laughs> it took Akuna, Ma Akuna Matata to the next. It took that seriously, yeah. <laughs> we are MMD, which stands for Medical Marijuana Dispensary. Wow, we. We're just up the street from Hollywood Boulevard, where we see over 25 million tourists a year. What is that? Our vision is to expand the company. We are tracking 32 cities to go after right now. Just two people can't launch a brand. It takes a village. Do you trust them to pull it off? <laughs> no. OK, bye. Uriel's our oldest employee. I feel like I am MMD. You have to come to work sober. I've never done that. It's better to ask for forgiveness and ask for permission. That's how I get away with a lot of things at home with my mom. We're going to bring back one of our OGs. She's a troublemaker, but I'm the best bud dinner they have. Being the new guy here, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> when was your last girlfriend? 2017. Interesting. <laughs> Got two cats. <laughs> He's out there sinking, so I think I can help him out. <laughs> you should hang up, man. Like, <laughs> I'm more of a ladies man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a lesbian. I'm not, so. <laughs> we can't launch a brand twice. This has to go right. We yeah. do not allow employees to be high while working. Uh. <laughs> Example of us going corporate right there. God help us. Hollywood breeds nuts. What's a lobster doing in the dispensary? <laughs> There's a chance that this is going to crash and burn. This group of misfits have to deliver. They seem like they might be able to help me out with something other than just dispensary work. The next customer that comes in, I want you to flirt with them. Freddie is going to help you out over here. Hello, lady. I'm uh, new in town. These are beautiful 20s, by the way. Came out of the ATM. <laughs> what are the dreams and goals that I have? I hate that question, dude. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs and creators to stand out and succeed online. Now, whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful websites to engage with your audience and to sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all in your style, using one dashboard. Dream big, go big, and save big with Squarespace. We're reality TV stars. <laughs> you already are. Is that how? Uh, yeah. I'm not a reality yeah, TV yeah. star. You are on reality shows. What do you mean? I guess so. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not a cast member on those shows, so I don't really feel like I'm a reality TV, TV star. star. And technically on this show, you're the star. Yeah. I'm just the person who's like background, <laughs> walking by the shot as they shot at our house and... Um, so yeah, it was a cool experience. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't know yet, um, we are starring. Well, it's you. I I am starring in a reality TV show, um, and it's all about cannabis. It's really following this dispensary in Hollywood. So if you ever seen Cheers, the whole concept of Cheers is that everybody on that show is connected because of the bar. In this show, everybody that's on the show is connected because of this dispensary. So it's the number one dispensary in Hollywood. So it has some really interesting characters that come in and I am a part of the show. It's an interesting watch. You should definitely check it out. The entire premise is like launching a new strain of weed that I made the song for. 
I don't know how much I can share it with Jam, but <laughs> I'm sharing a little bit too much. Spoilers, uh, but it's a good time. It's a, it's a fun show. I think we'll put this out the day that the show is out so okay. that we can say, Everything. go right now to Hulu, watch High Hopes. It is funny. It is, let's be honest, we haven't seen it yet. We're scared shitless that it's going to be crazy and we're going to look nuts, <laughs> but we're going to watch it and go through that potential cringe and we're inviting you guys to come into this with us. Yeah. You just don't know what you're going to get with reality TV. And yeah. when we came, when you came with this opportunity and you said that not only was it going to be about you, but also like your life, which meant like the kids would be in it and I would be in it. Yeah. Um, we ultimately decided that like, this would be an extension of our brand and it is a reality that you did work at MMD it is a reality that you do and did smoke weed a lot so um, I think like us saying yes to this was just saying yes to another layer of our lives being shared yeah and I think that it's um it's a it's an interesting story of a story arc for me because I did go through a time where I smoked very heavy I mean I remember one time you were like every day really yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, so cannabis used to be a really big part of my life. I used it to get through the day and now I really only use it on particular days at the end of the day. Um, I've learned that in my setup, I have a tendency when I smoke to get really relaxed. And that is not conducive for the lifestyle that we live, where it's kids, it's work, it's so many different things. And I just don't operate the best when I am uh, high. Uh, but I do relax the best when I'm high. So I do use it sometimes. And now, you know, we're getting into it from a business side. You know, we invested in a dispensary that's open. Hopefully it's already open, but it's going to be open in Jersey. Okay, so we're already the sex stigma family. Yeah. Now also associating not just our brands, but our family with cannabis. Tell me about how you feel about that. Um, you know what's interesting is like I did feel a little weird about having Ryu and Zaya in the show um, prior filming. Uh, but once we filmed the scenes that they were in, I, I, we didn't have weed involved in that scene. We didn't talk about weed during that scene. That wasn't the premise of the scene. It's like a regular scene. If it wasn't implemented in a weed show, you would never know that weed was involved. And so um, that made me feel better. And I think it's the realities. There's a lot of parents who do smoke. There's a lot of responsible parents that smoke. And just because you do smoke doesn't make you irresponsible. The irresponsible part of it is when you start getting very inebriated and not able to parent. Um, so or you're I, leaving it around or you're smoking around them. Or you're leaving them. it around or it's easy access for them and they can get in, involved in it. But um, for, for me, I know I had made an early on decision that like when I'm around my kids, I want to be completely sober and I want to be present. Um, when they go to sleep, that's a whole different story. When they ain't sleeping <laughs> and they out of my presence, then uh, you know I might get a little slip, slip, slip. You know, but reality is, is that that's not the way that we parent, and that's not the way a lot of people parent. Um, and and there's no difference in that. There's like a lot of moms and a lot of uh, dads that at the end of the day they'll drink a glass of wine. You know what I mean? And it's just there's another form of that by smoking cannabis. So um, the one thing that I do love about this show, from my perspective, is that. A lot of the stigma around marijuana or cannabis users, um, I think it's going to be a little shocking for people because there's people who own businesses, there's people who are doing well in life, there's people who are um, hard workers, and, and all the stigma that you think of, I think that a lot of our grandparents might think is like, oh, you're just lazy, you're smoking the devil's lettuce. It's, I think it's going to shake a lot of those people up because it doesn't display us in that way. Obviously, there's some scenes where it does, right. <laughs> but the most of it is like the it's very heartwarming and it's family friendly. It's a family friendly show. All right. So you haven't seen the show yet. No. What are you hoping they keep in your storyline? Yeah. What are you hoping gets left on the cutting floor? What I do know that the show was heavy on from just the producer side that I experienced was there was a definite role that they wanted me to be in. And that role was the flirtatious uh lack of a better term, uh, boy next door <laughs> um, kind of guy. How does that make Did you that, Is that what they called you, the flirtatious boy next door? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> Sometimes. Why boy next door? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, they really figured out who I am, and they realized that I am a flirt, and they wanted to accent that heavy. Um, and I... I'm curious how they put that together, and I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on that. I think I know how you feel, but 
What do you feel about me being portrayed as a flirt? How do you think I feel? I think that you think it's all an act. <laughs> that's, that's what I think. I think that you think it's all an act and that I'm not, I'm not actually flirtatious. I do think that. You know, it's a, that's the thing. Is like there's the one part in particular I just know is going to be in the show because they were talking to me about how flirty you are. And I was like, I have never in my life seen Jared flirt. And I know they're going to have a sick montage to go after that to make me look crazy. But the real truth is, in my lived experience with you in the past 10 years, I haven't seen it. But maybe you just don't do it when I'm around. But. How do you not see it? I flirt <laughs> I, all the time. I don't. Well, your version of flirting is just being polite in my books. It is. It's in, it's in my books, too. But it's still, you know, looking deep in the eyes and stuff. I've never seen you look deep in anybody, guys. I'm more flirty than you. You are. Sorry to interrupt, but I am here to share how Squarespace can power your next big idea. You can start a completely personalized, gorgeous website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint AI. First, you choose a professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your business, and optimized for every device, obviously. And after you're done designing, launch and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to the people you want to be in front of. And if you're selling products, content, a service, or your time, make checkout seamless for your customers by accepting credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and in eligible countries, you can give your customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. And if you need help with language for your site, for your mailing list, or heck, even your invoices, Squarespace AI Kickstart has your back. Explain what your site is about, choose your tone, provide guidelines on length, and then boom. And speaking of boom, go peek around on a two-week free trial, no credit card required, at squarespace.com slash shanbooty. And when you are ready to sign up after that, get 10% off a website or domain at squarespace.com slash shanbooty. Now back to the video. When you and I started dating, you're like, oh, people in the past have just said I'm way too flirty. It's so true. you came with this, like, I'm a flirt band banner that you plastered over everything and that just hasn't been my experience and same with the show they're like jared's jared's really flirty um and i would love to see it i love it i think when you flirt with me it's really hot i think flirting makes life more fun more enjoyable more liquid more sexy more saucy so i hope that you do and i also know that in this show there were instances where some of your castmates felt like you crossed the line yes so our open relationship you know, came out a lot. And I'm interested to see, you know, how that's going to play out in the storyline, how people are going to interpret that. Oh, they're um, going to probably paint me as a villain and I'm, I'm okay with that because I know what I am and I know how, how I handle things in real life. That's what I was going to say. What's really interesting about our whole life in general is it is really not that salacious. Yeah. Like our actual lives are pretty basic. Yes. But I think that with this project, with the work that I do as a sex educator, everything just seems so much more like <sighs> yeah. than it really is. Um, it's still fun. I think it's still relaxed. And that's why I think that this was a good extension for not just our brand, but for what we want to share with the world about how we enjoy living. Yeah. We enjoy friendship and connection. We enjoy intimacy. We enjoy a good time. Uh, we're disciplined. We have boundaries and we're goal oriented and i feel like this you know hollywood high mm -hmm. does fit into the bracket of all those high hopes. i feel like high hopes <laughs> <laughs> fits into fits into that what do you hope to to that comes out of this um i hope the investment that we made uh benefits you know from a selfish business standpoint from a personal standpoint i hope it gets people closer to you mm. uh, people understand you a bit more are more intrigued with you know your story and overall that it starts interesting conversations i mean my whole existence is about talking about the taboo yeah. um so yeah i'm happy that this show is being made i think it's revolutionary and really cool and i'm really proud that you're a part of it i, I hope people think it's hilarious i hope people think it's endearing i hope it it humanizes a lot of cannabis users and i also hope that it educates people on what cannabis can do and what it will do if you don't use it properly. Um, that there is a level of self-discipline that you kind of have to have before you start involving yourself with anything, alcohol or cannabis. And I think that... Sex. Yeah, sex. Uh, anything that feels great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's just like a little bit, you know, Bob Marley always used to say, like, 
too much of a good thing isn't a good thing. And so just having that awareness and knowing your pitfalls and what your uh, personality is like. And on top of that, as a bud tender, learning about the different strains and the percentage value and the CBDs and the CBN and all the different components of this plant, you don't always have to just use the THC to get as high as you possibly can. There's a lot of different uses for it. There's bath bombs, there's, there's creams, there's edibles. There's, you, there's so many ways to use this plant to its advantage for your body that you don't always have to be super blitzed out to get the benefits of cannabis. All right, folks, there you have it. Go and check out High Hopes from your boy Jimmy Kimmel streaming on Hulu starring your boy Jared Brady and six other cast members. We have yet to watch this. Like I said, when this video comes out, the show will come out. If it's crazy enough, maybe we'll come back here and do a response to it. So if you watch the show and there's any questions that you have, any things that you want to clear up, any points that you want us to like double click on uh, write them in the comment section below and we'll chat about it maybe we'll be back here and talk about it i'm not gonna watch it. i'm gonna be silent i ain't talking to you <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding no, i'll talk to y'all <laughs>